Well, God damn, it's a beautiful sunset here at the Spank Ranch. That doesn't matter though. It is time to get this thing out of the weeds and back in service. She's been sitting since the last crash. See if she'll fire up. Gotta prime the engine. A little bit for me. Make sure she's in neutral, hit the key. Ooh, dead battery, not cool my friends. can't beat these four liters, I tell you. You know, you throw a battery in them and they just start up an idle great. She had a rough ride last time out, ended up with a little bit of damage. I fixed it, I put, I put a new axle in up here, I put a new ring and pinion in up front. So now we're down to just cosmetics, essentially. Uh, the door doesn't close. The roof's a little more kink than I'd prefer. Where? Oh, there we go. And with no windshield, it just blows exhaust and beer in my face when I'm driving. So we'll have to come up with a solution for that. So the door hinge bolts are right back here. All right, I think we got this all figured out. I remembered I got T-boned by a flying Subaru and that's how that rocker got punched in. Which also brought the bottom of the door in. So really the issue here is when you go to close this, the door panel really flexing against the dash here. So a gentle bump closes it but it doesn't double latch it you want to double latch it though give her a good lock boom done grab the handle she pops open like a brand new hyundai under the passenger side door this one um, also has a small dent in it but it's been that way for a while surprisingly this thing opens like a brand new hyundai as well i mean look at that solid latching outer handle works inner handle works i, so I got this plexiglass here from my buddy johnny uh, it's, it's kind of a strange size. I can't use it for anything. So I'm thinking, all right, let's cut it up into lengths and make a windshield out of it. Just a couple self tappers around here. Thinking I'll do the same thing on both sides and then run a support up the center there to keep the roof from caving in. Well, it was going good till it wasn't, till I slipped with my drill putting the last screw in and busted my full body weight through the windshield. But this is on the drinker side, so they can deal with it. Otherwise, uh, you know, it looks pretty hacky, but it is a windshield that will keep dirt and exhaust and branches out of my eyes. We'll see, I'm gonna take her for a spin, see if the exhaust sneaks through the middle there. I may have to continue windshielding, but I'd actually like to have that airflow considering all the other windows are blown out of this thing. So let's take it for a spin. favorite little tree. I don't think it's going to last long in here because I don't have any windows, but uh, this is going to make me feel really good tomorrow morning when I fire this thing up. Four new shocks on this thing. There's nothing left of these. Listen to that leak. So I think that's part of the reason why I flip over so much because this thing bounces too much. Skyjacker, baby. All right, this bad girl's ready. See you tomorrow. Great time, darling. Good. Look at this 
guy. Oh yeah. Beer, gasoline, proper footwear. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, the luxury here. All driver. Nice, well done. Extended cab window frame for a Ford Ranger, it looks like. Hmm. Oh, so I hit this and that bent enough to pop it out. I think that's what wow, happened. That's weak, man. Out. It was the littlest little dingaboodle there and the whole window's gone. Actually, I don't know. So we got a situation on the old Ranger here. You got bigger issues here. All right. This one's gonna be a little hard to see, but I'll get you guys in here for that first person view. Uh -oh. This cornholio right here shouldn't be here because this lift bracket right? on the IFS lift apparently punched through the differential housing. And that left a piece of shrapnel in the ring and pinion, which kind of sucks because this is actually a very good strong front axle. So the Ranger's got a front, bent front axle housing as well. Oh, it moved though, it moved.
right guys this wraps up another very fun and exciting time with the Jeep put a little bit of work into this thing and it runs excellent again we had a super fun weekend no mechanical problems I never even opened the hood thing runs great I got a bent lower control arm bracket on the front axle I got a little more body damage that's it she's ready for another drive so you just can't kill these things if you don't have one you have to get one um, these are the best products ever made by Jeep all the other ones are really crappy like the Wranglers and the, the XJ Cherokees and those things are total trash but if you get yourself a ZJ Grand Cherokee uh, with a five-speed manual trans far superior unit literally unstoppable I've had this thing for four years and I've been beating the crap out of it ever since and it's just a great unit so thanks for watching Spank Grand's Garage I'll see you next time